of Twitter. It's time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. I'm joined here by Kathleen marchand Kathleen, Kathleen, good to see you. Today, you are following the California mass shooting in Monterey Park. Some users on social media started to falsely report more attacks in the U.S. Tell us more. Indeed, following a second mass shooting in only three days in uh, California, uh, this post started circulating on Instagram on January 22nd, uh, claiming right here that New York City is in trouble. At this moment, there are many injured, uh, where you can see a picture of what looks to be a heavy law enforcement present in New York City uh, following an alleged attempted attack uh, published uh, right here, as they say, published on a Telegram account. This post right here received over 3,500 likes on Instagram, uh, which was uh, later deleted uh, from the platform. There were many copy-paste uh, similar publications on Instagram right here by Firefox Media uh, with a different caption claiming New York is bombed. At this moment, there are many injured. This post right here with over 1,200 likes with another one of the same links on a Telegram to uh, watch the publication of this alleged attack. And then uh, finally, a third similar post or copy-paste post right here. New York is in trouble. Uh, this post with over 565 uh, likes on Instagram. So after this post right here started circulating online, uh, many uh, republished, uh, reposted uh, this publication uh, asking, can someone please confirm if this is true? So many wondering if uh, this information was true and whether or not New York was actually in trouble. Brazier. Well, clearly there are no reports of any recent bomb attack in New York. So what was the purpose of these fear mongering posts? Clear, clearly, there's a, no evidence of a bomb attack that took place in New York City on January 22nd, uh, as the users on Instagram claim. So before we explain the why, we'll explain uh, the where, where this image comes from. Uh, this image is from the AP uh, report. This one right here from uh, December 12th, uh, 2017, uh, when uh, law enforcement officials were working following an explosion near Times Square on December 11th, 2017, uh, when a suicide bomber uh, failed to detonate a pipe bomb in New York City uh, on behalf of the Islamic State terrorist group. Uh, so now moving on uh, to why these users would even invent uh, such things on social media. Uh, first, let's take a look at the users uh, that were posting uh, these uh, fake false claims on Instagram. Uh, we have many of them right here. For instance, this one, who is a, a Trump fanatic or uh, this one right here, uh, Firefox Media, God bless Donald Trump. So uh, Trump right wing fanatics. So there's one thing in common right there. And uh, two, we're going to take a look at their posts. Uh, they all uh, claim that the attack is published on this a Telegram account, uh, the same Telegram account right here uh, called America Salutes. Uh, so at least we know that this uh, clearly indicates uh, that the posts were designed to recruit uh, users to the this uh, Telegram channel right here, America salutes. Uh, so a follower bait tactic uh, in play right here. Brazier? We've got to watch what you're sharing there on social media. And Kathleen, as ever, thank you so much for joining us for Truth or Fake.